more musings for you on a Monday. 30 minutes worth. At least that's what we're going to try to blast out here. Woo! It was a long weekend for me. A lot of sports. Well, you kind of heard what it was going to be. Florida Gator football game that racked in about, oh, got me in, well, well, I don't even remember what time. I got there 4 o'clock for pregame, three hours worth of that. Kickoff was, what, 7, 7.30? Got out of there right around midnight. <sighs> Into Sunday, the Dolphins were over in London, so I got there, oh, I was there, 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 by 7 o'clock. In the morning, so yeah, not much sleep. I think I got about three hours of sleep that uh, morning, technically. <laughs> Woke up around five, went and did that. Then I had the closeout game of the MLB season for the Miami Marlins, which kept me there till about seven o'clock. So on about three hours of sleep, had a 12 hour work day. Wow. Not gonna lie, yesterday when I got home, I did not do a workout. I just didn't. I went to bed at a fairly decent time. Well, because today, with baseball season over, things, uh, my work week kind of slows down a bit on the sports station, but as I sit here, I'm showing 10.53 on the clock. I have to work the news station from noon until 7 p.m. Doing a bit of a training session. We got a, well, with part of the shuffle that I've been talking about. Got one guy moving on to work a couple different things for himself. So that's freeing up some, some time and space. And... Well, we need an extra need an extra body, so to speak, an extra pair of hands to help run things. So I'll be doing a bit of training today, and it's not much on this noon to seven on. This should be pretty pretty damn simple. Not much of a uh, difficulty curve to run this. Hey, there's that Cadillac I keep talking about, and it's for sale too. Nice. But, and I forget the kid's name off the top of my head. It's a Matt or Mark. I remember that much. Uh, I just met him yesterday. He was doing training on the early Sunday run at the news station. That 6 a.m. until noon, he was there. So when I went to get my ass some coffee, I said, oh, hey, what's up, guys? You know, the guy training him, who I only really see on that bit of the weekend there and there and I see the the new guy <laughs> Matt or Mark I ah forget the name it's one of the two but he's wearing a Cubs shirt so I'm like all right this guy's good he's good don't worry about it we're fine he's wearing a Cubs shirt this will be easy enough speaking of that the Cubs will play that one game playoff the wild card playoff in Pittsburgh against the Pirates on Wednesday if I remember correctly so that, that, that's good. The Cubs make the playoffs. Compared to the past couple of years, wow, they look like a dumpster fire. But they've turned it around pretty damn good. I wish them the best. Just don't know how it's going to turn out, especially in a one-game playoff. At least make this, uh, this wild-card thing a three-game set. At least. Give the division winners a bit of rest. So when they face a wild card winner or whatever the case is, then they can kind of go about their thing their own way. Whew. Got that going for me. That'll be my day today. Now, workout-wise, when I get home tonight, well, I got to do a little bit of shopping. Don't got to, but may as well. Got tomorrow off, so I'll probably be doing some shopping then as well. Laundry for damn sure. Laundry like a motherfucker. That's no question. And that being the case, um, 
yeah, what do I do tonight for a workout? I'm thinking I just work the core a little bit. And I'm thinking I do cardio tomorrow. Just my thoughts and hunches. That's that's it. I kind of want to hit the beach tomorrow. I mean, granted, it's October, what, 5th? Tomorrow's the 6th. It's still nice out. Yeah, this is South Florida, after all. And what a time to go to the beach, October. Try to catch some color. Yeah, I doubt I will, though. Just face it, Mike. You got a lily white ass. You're as white as the Parthenon. White as a napkin. Snowflake white. Yeah. I don't mind having a decent tan, but... Oh, I can be lazy. I'd rather just work out. <laughs> Hell, I don't even want to do that. I don't want to go shopping. I don't want to do laundry. I don't want to work out. I just want to wake up and do nothing. I'll sleep in tomorrow. That's for damn sure. I will be sleeping in tomorrow. And I ain't lying, neither. Uh, so tonight I think I'll uh, throw on the old slender tone ab belt thing and then... Uh, hit the deck and work the core a little bit extra just to really get that definition going get that toning you know that tightness going about the core keep it slim slim yeah uh, shopping what am I getting today I need to get me some chicken some cheese a bag of frozen veggie mix some Greek yogurt The taste comparison of sour cream, though far healthier, up or up, way up on the protein. Uh, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to scale back on my snackage. The peanuts, eh. I'm going to scale back on that. I'm going to see about getting some string cheese and maybe some other stuff. Because, yeah, just snacking constantly on peanuts and shit like that, I, I don't know. Nothing wrong with it. So I feel uh, if I'm going for something a little extra, get that protein going with uh, with some cheese. Why not? Nothing wrong with that. I'm getting my I'm getting my calcium intake. Well, with the vegetables, number one and two, uh, the well the calcium. I've already said that's kind of a hoax as far as oh it's good for your bones. Not to say that it's bad for your bones, but what's really good for your bones is magnesium, and I'm taking those as a part of my vitamins that I take every day. Magnesium oxide, along with uh, potassium citrate, and vitamin D3, and vitamin C. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of stuff. Which, there's something, there's something I I always kind of scratch my head about. When you're going through, like, the the vitamin, the pharmacy aisles, and all that shit, where the, well, okay, supplements is one thing, because you got these fucking gym rat types that are taking the the protein powder mixes that that package of shit that you mix in and you know it's like a forty dollar pouch of whey protein and isolates or whatever the fuck else all that stuff you see the gym rats doing that but you always see old people taking the vitamins and all that stuff why not get a jump start on that when you're in your 20s and 30s you know, my dad was even asking a, a decent question about that. I forgot if it was a few months back or if it was last year's little vacation home. Like, yeah, I'm taking all kinds of vitamins. He's like, well, okay, what about this? I'm taking a multi. Like, yeah, I'm looking at the label or uh, ingredients, if you will. I'm like, look at all this. So, yeah, that's good, but I mean, you know, it's okay. It's like for everything that's in there, yeah, that's that's a decent multivitamin to take. He's like, well, what should I be taking then? Like, ah, you're asking questions now. That's good. That's good. Should you be taking the multivitamin, you know, like the, like the senior multivitamin, or should you be taking, you know, something with a little extra to it? Ah, you're asking questions now. Because really, zinc, 10% of your daily intake is in this little pill? You're going to mean, you're going to tell me that everything else that you eat is going to substantiate the remaining 90% that you're supposed to? Think about it. Okay, there you go. Merging, sorry, I'm already on I-95, kind of a quick run to the to the main vein here. Well, that guy's in a fucking hurry, let him do his thing. Nope, still can't go. New Jersey plate! 
Now I'll merge. How about that? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Trying to, at least. And now merge and cut in here. Because I don't want to be stuck in that spot where 95 keeps going and that set is like, what, 595? Okay, I'm good here. I'm good here for now. At any rate. At any rate, transitional phrase of choice. You know, the vitamins and all that shit that I take, yeah, it was good. My dad was asking, oh, well, should, should I be taking more? I don't know, should you? Oh, there's a plate. What are you? What are you? I'm going to guess that is, uh, not Philly, Pennsylvania, excuse me. Had to be. But yeah, when you're going to like the, uh, kind of the pharmacy aisles of a supermarket or whatever the case may be, or hell, even if it's a Walgreens, something like that, CVS, you'll always see old people in the vitamin aisle. Well, why is that? It's kind of sad that you don't see young people in the vitamin aisle. Like I said, you'll see the gym rat going for like the creatine powder and all that shit. The muscle milk or the, well, whatever the hell. Well, I don't think Boost is anything like that. Oh, look at this guy crawling up my ass like a motherfucker. Buddy, I'm doing 70, okay? And we're passing people. Be thankful. Yeah, you just, you got a hard on to pass me. Oh, ha, ha. That guy done halfway cut you off. I love this. I want dash cams in this fucker. I mean, it would take forever to upload these. Things. Where are you going, fella? Okay, now you pass me, because that guy figured out where he's going. You pass me, go around me. Now I'll merge back this way, because you're in a hurry to go somewhere. You bought your car from Lexus of North Miami. Get the fuck out of here. Go. Shoo, shoo. Dummy. Uh, but yeah, vitamins. It, it does strike me every time I go to buy some stuff. Like I'm, I'm like the youngest person that's really like looking for vitamin specific shit. And I'm surrounded by well, people older than me. <laughs> A lot of gray hairs looking through them vitamins. Meanwhile, you know the kids, whether they're my age or a bit younger. And I'm not talking kids who are there, you know, with their parents kind of thing. I'm not talking like, you know, 12-year-olds or something like that. You know, people my age or younger that are shopping, what are they going for? Eh, they're going to get the fucking, the Coke and the Pepsi, maybe the Gatorade, fine. They're not thinking vitamins. Well, they're not even thinking is going for all the advertising bullshit. I need some Red Bull. No, you don't. <laughs> well, five-hour energy is all vitamins, and it's packed with this and that. Yeah, okay, but you're not going to survive on those, really. You're going to take those for when you're, when you're tired in the morning or when you're dragging ass at work. Tennessee plate. Yeah. Like, hey, my energy, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm still trying to figure shit out. I did not take my, uh, I did not take my, uh, my coconut oil last night before I went to bed. I did have a bourbon sour while I was on the phone with my brother. He sounded like he was pretty well to do <laughs> on the, uh, on the intake side of things. He sounded pretty, uh, good to go, I'll say that. He had his share of NyQuil. <laughs> Whacked down a 12-pack kind of guy. So I had my one drink and kind of futz around. Made it through season one of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I was in, what, episode one of season two? I think it was episode one. Might have been two, I'm not even sure. Well, the episode ended when, uh, well, what should I say? A couple of, couple of the crew are going through the forest area type things. 
and they kind of get spooked by a deer. I'll say that much. But it's not a zombie deer. I'll, I'll, I'll go that far to say. It's not a zombie deer that tries to kill them. It's nothing like that. Just, holy shit, a deer. You know, something they didn't expect to see, didn't think they would see. That episode. And that's right at the end, like when they see the deer, like in the clearing. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So making my way through that. I think I'll watch a little more of that tonight. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Got to go shopping. Got my workout planned. Um, what else? What else? Workout for tomorrow. Day off. Laundry. Maybe some small shopping there. We'll see. Yeah, the whole vitamin thing. Back to the vitamin thing. Yeah. It, it does kind of worry me, the fact that every time I go to get my vitamins, there's nothing but old people surrounding me. And I'm thinking, well, poor young people. Hey, and I was, I was just uneducated. I was dumb when I was younger. I probably would have scaled back on the stupidity. You know, I would have been taking my vitamins the whole time. Now, sure, as a little, little kid, you know, whatever, you get Flintstones vitamins or shit like that, you know, Mom be like, take your vitamins when you're having breakfast. And you don't really want to, even though they were like, you know, the funny, chewable kind of... I mean, they taste like they're loaded up with sugar kind of vitamins. I don't even know if those are legit. But boy, had I been taking my vitamins all the way through life... Hmm, maybe I'd feel a little better than I do at this 33-aged frame, you know? Not to say that I feel like shit, but I think I could be feeling better, I guess is my point. So just a little irking to me. When it's like, man, there ain't nobody in these vitamin aisles but old people. And you would think young people would take a clue to that. Be like, man, why are they doing that? Well, I don't know, I'm not going to say because it's too late. But shouldn't you be thinking about a little bit ahead of time? (laughs) Maybe you should be taking your vitamins. Think about that. Let me see if I can merge in and get to my friggin' exit, like, right goddamn here. I think I can. And I'm gonna try to, and I do. Yeah, there we go. Made it to Pembroke. Oh, that was some cutting and strutting right there. Now, I look like the idiot. Cutting through three lanes of bullshit, whatever. Made it. Ain't no honking, ain't no worry like that. Oh, I have to scale back the AC. Showing 83 degrees right now. Oh, and I'll tell you, we're not getting hit with that damn... I don't even know if it's a hurricane, that Joaquin or whatever the fuck. No, he ain't, he ain't close to us. Here, one of my pet peeves. Somebody who slows down to go over train tracks. Your car, and then in this case, a Ford F-150, your truck has shocks for when you're going over bumps. Plus, if you're a big, tough guy in a fucking big old truck anyway, you should be all arrogant as fuck. Ah, I'm not scared of no damn train tracks. I'm going to drive over that some bit. Yeah, tough guy. That's what he is. You're a working man in there in your big old pickup, and you slow down to drive over train tracks? Come on. This is a Toyota Corolla. Fuck your life, buddy. I I done passed you over them train tracks. I ain't scared of a little bounce bounce. Uh Uh-uh. Anyway, back to the vitamin thing. Yeah, what am I taking? Magnesium oxide for bones. Uh, not calcium. What the hell did I say? Potassium citrate, which is kind of good for my workouts. Well, potassium is one of those things, those vital nutrients you lose when you're fucking working out and pumping iron and shit. So I'll take, uh, I'll take a, well, not a set of those. 
I usually take that before and then after a workout to kind of load up my system and then to replenish my system, you know, from that, from the workout exertion, if you will. Oh uh, yeah, magnesium oxide, potassium citrate, vitamin D3, vitamin C, and taking some L-arginine, which I guess is also good for kind of the the circulatory function. I think that's all I'm taking. Let me think real quick. That, 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 that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm taking supplement-wise. Vitamin and supplements. There we go. Well, how much? I'd have to look at the bottle specifically. Oh, but what am I doing? The, uh, the magnesium and potassium. I forgot what the percentage is or the milligrams, micrograms, whatever the fuck. Forgot what those are. Uh, but I'm taking two of each. And like I said, before a workout and after a workout, whatever that time window is. Uh, vitamin C, I'm taking three pills worth, and I forgot if that's 1,000 milligrams. Well, yeah, I'm taking three of them. Let's just say that's a... Eh, shit, I don't know. Is that 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams? I don't even know. <laughs> The vitamin D3, I know, is 2,000, and I'm taking three of those a day, too, so it's essentially 6,000 IU, international units, a day. So the C and the D3, I'm taking three times a day. The magnesium and potassium, I'm taking twice a day. And the L-arginine, three times a day. So, yeah. Everything's three times a day except magnesium and potassium, which is kind of before and a little after a workout. Speaking of that, I need to eat. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I set my alarm for nine. Slow to crawl out of bed. I mean, I didn't do my uh, my wake-up call <laughs> with, uh, with the damn coconut oil. Because I don't know what it is, like, that'll just, that'll get my brain going before, not so much get my brain going, but kind of, like, I gain consciousness before my alarm goes off. And I kind of sit and stir, and then next thing I know, whether it's, it could be an hour or so, and maybe I do pass out some, it could be five minutes or so, and then my alarm goes off, like, mm, okay, thanks, coconut oil, <laughs> you kind of got me on the jump start for, uh, before the alarm hit. I don't know how. I don't want to say it's magic, because, you know, it's not magic. But it, it just seems to help for some weird degree. Didn't do that yesterday. Like, I kind of wanted full, full sleep, and I got that. I mean, a good eight hours, I would say, compared to the three hours the previous morning. Ugh. And I want to sleep in tomorrow, too, so I, I might take some coconut oil, uh, Hell, maybe after my workout, and I know that some, well, why would you be, you know, taking in all those calories and all that fat after a workout? Well, it's organic, it's healthier, you know, it, I'm not slamming down fucking high fructose corn syrup and, you know, chicken McNuggets. Yeah, I said it. I said Coke and Pepsi, and I said chicken McNuggets. Guess who I'm attacking? Well, because they're attacking me. That shit ain't healthy. Here's another thing, and I was going to make a, like a quick video blurb about this, like one of my one minute long deals that, uh, you know, like I did for 4th of July. But you go up and down the vitamin aisle, and you'll see all these things like saw palmetto and St. John's wort and all these things. It's like, this product has not been approved by the FDA. Oh, but Hormel can still make fucking products we're supposed to ingest. Okay. How the, does Hormel make anything that the FDA would deem healthy? Probably not, but, you know, because they're making money on it and the government's getting their part of the, whatever, the taxation, if you will, eh, it's okay to sell that shit. What about you, McDonald's and Coke and Pepsi and all you guys? That shit's not healthy. It's just semi-delicious. And taxed. <laughs> Something that's, you know, to whatever degree healthy and good for you? Nope. You'll always hear that shit like, uh, well, when I got rear-ended the other, whatever, couple months ago, 
Now, not the not the Saturn rear end. The Toyota got rear-ended. When I was talking to, I forget, it might have been the adjuster or whatever. They said, like, if you know, if you have any pain or something like that, and you're gonna go to a doctor, blah blah blah. It can't be, uh, what's that? It can't be holistic. It can't be, what's the needles and all that shit. Ah, shit, I can't, you know what I'm talking about, the, like that oriental shit where they stick you with needles and, you know, hit your nerves and stuff, can't be that, can't be holistic, holistic meaning, you know, kind of, I guess, organic, healthy doctors, not prescription drug doctors, why is that, why would that not be covered if I were to go to a doctor, and I, because they're not in bed with the pharmaceutical companies, it's all about money, that's all it is. That's the sad truth of it. What the fuck is that word? Where, where they stick you with needles and like, oh yeah, that'll help your back pain and stick you with needles this way and that's going to help to, you know, calm your nerves and lower your blood pressure. I can't, uh, not high, uh, what the fuck? I can't think of it. <laughs> can't think. I'm about to make my turn down West Island Drive. It was kind of a good cruise today. Um can't think of it. Well, whatever. You know, you know what I'm referencing, but that's not covered by insurance. Even if you're the one that gets rear-ended and, oh, a little bit of back pain and neck pain from whiplash. Oh, that's not covered. You can go see this doctor though, and they'll pump you up with fucking painkillers. You know, painkillers, not pain eliminators, not source of the pain problem type shit. Nope. We're not going to try to strengthen the nerve endings and the and all that shit and the tendons and stuff that goddamn... Nope, no, nope, we'll just mask the pain with drugs. Yeah, that will cover, but not something that'll actually solve the problem. Well, you know, <laughs> they're kind of like the condiment, as opposed to, well, whatever. They are, they're the mayonnaise on the bread, whereas the bread is the problem. If you're just putting mayonnaise over, oh, well, this bread is moldy. Well, just put some mayonnaise on it, then you can eat it. You, won't, you, you might not notice it. And if you do, just put more mayonnaise on that piece of bread. You won't notice the mold as much. Well, that's kind of what they're doing. That's kind of what they're saying. That word still escapes me. That's pissing me off. <laughs> ah, there's so many words dancing around my brain that are jumbled. I can't even think of it. Oh, well. with the needles and the um, you know, hypochondriacs or people that are always worried about every little pain is the end of their life and hypodermic needle, that's where I'm mixing those two words. I can't fucking think of that word. <laughs> yeah, it'll come to me. I got, I'm, I'm about to hit the red zone here. Two minute warning, about to hit the red zone of 90 seconds. Ah, eh, whatever. That's not covered, but here, take all these drugs. That's covered by our insurance. Yeah. There's your sad truths. All we deal with is sad truths. Ah. So all my vitamin intakery. That's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to help you out, too, as a matter of fact. You always knew vitamin C was good for you. Vitamin D, or is it just straight up vitamin D3? Not sure, but hey, they're both really good. Get in on those. Trust me. Still trying to think of that word, and I know I got about 40 seconds left, and that's just pissing me off. <laughs> Can't think of it. Oh, well. Not that big a deal. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of a training session today. Which ain't gonna be much. It's like, you know how to do this, right? Okay, good, cool, fine. We'll get you lined up doing that shit. When you get comfortable, you're on your own because this is pretty fucking easy to do. And as I wind down, I'll have time to do some shopping after work. Get a workout in. And we'll see how it goes. But, till we meet again, I'll catch your ass down the road.